these last 24 hours have been great to you if you're a former Baltimore Raven because in breaking news, the LA Ravens, excuse me, the LA Chargers, sorry, little typo, they are signing Tony Jefferson. Let's read the report from Jordan Schultz. It says, come back complete. Free agent safety Tony Jefferson is officially coming out of retirement and signing with the Chargers per sources. And I remember the last time a former Baltimore Raven, hard-hitting safety, came out of retirement and wanted to get back in the league, it didn't work out so well. So shout out to Tony Jefferson for making it happen. It says, the deal comes after Tony Jefferson tried out during LA's minicamp and impressed. New Bulls GM Joe Ortiz was previously in Baltimore with Tony Jefferson. So Jefferson was a scout for the Baltimore Ravens last year, and he must have just felt like, man, I got that itch. I got that itch. I just I cannot get rid of this feeling of wanting to play football again. I want to put the pads on again. I want to put the helmet on. I want to lace them up. And I got to get back on the field one more time. Being a scout, it was cool, but it's just not the same. So shout out to Don Tony Jefferson for making it happen. And shout out to the L.A. Ravens for putting him on because – they ain't afraid to put some old Baltimore Ravens on. Again, Joe Hortiz, who was with the Baltimore Ravens last year, uh, and now he's a GM of the Chargers. So it just makes sense because Tony Jefferson, he joins Gus Edwards, J.K. Dobbins, Hayden Hurst, Bradley Bozeman, Ben Mason, all as former Baltimore Ravens. And, I mean, throw in Greg Roman there as well, who's their offensive coordinator. So Tony Jefferson, he is going to feel right at home with those Chargers. Now the harder part comes into play because – he still got to make the team. He, he, he still got to make the team because I'm sure whatever kind of deal that they sign him for, it probably won't be many guarantees in there, especially him signing so late in the offseason. But this does give him an opportunity uh, not only to gear up and get ready for training camp with the Chargers, but just in case. Hopefully it does work out for him with the Chargers and he stays on that 53-man roster. But worst case scenario, if it does not work out with them, hopefully he can put on a good showing in training camp and, and in preseason. And if it doesn't work out with the Chargers, he can end up signing somewhere else. But so far, so good because Jordan Schultz also reported that yesterday, Chargers All-Pro Safety Derwin James endorsed the potential signing of Tony Jefferson, noting that he's been helpful in reference to the Bolts' new defensive scheme. So, hey, Tony Jefferson said, look, I was on the scout team last year with the Ravens, but I, I could do a little coaching too. I can help y'all boys out. Trust me, I understand this stuff. I know this stuff. I got y'all. So he's been putting his mind and his body to good use, and now he can continue doing that in L.A. So shout out to Tony Jefferson, but he wasn't the only former Baltimore Raven that made some noise in free agency. Elias Campbell, who has definitely earned his respect around the NFL. I didn't realize he's, this is going to be his 17th season. He's getting ready to be 38 uh, at the start of this upcoming NFL season. But Calais Campbell, former Jacksonville Jaguar, he did his thing over there too. Former Baltimore Raven, yeah, shout out to him. And we love Calais Campbell with the Ravens. Uh, and then also former Atlanta Falcons. Okay, well, it was a little solid season over there. Um, but again, they didn't really have team success. So when you have individual success and your team doesn't have success, it's not really going to get recognized as much as it probably should be. But anyway, Calais Campbell, he said, you know what? I ain't retiring yet, but I'm going to go to the place where a lot of people call home uh, when they get up there in age and when they decide they want to call it quits very soon. And that is none other than Miami. Let's read the report from Tom Pelissero. It says, six-time Pro Bowl defensive end Calais Campbell is signing with the Dolphins. Sources tell me and Ian Rappaport. Uh, Calais will turn 38 in September, but he's still playing at a high level as he enters his 17th NFL season. Yes, sir. So, former Baltimore Ravens, they, they've they been making some headlines over the past day, but really when you talk about Miami just alone, they got some significant leaders from the Baltimore Ravens over the past couple of years. Obviously, they, they just signed Odell Beckham Jr. a couple of weeks ago. And he was definitely a big leader uh, for the Baltimore Ravens last season. He was a very crucial part of bringing Lamar Jackson back, getting Lamar Jackson to sign. Um, but now they get Calais Campbell. And I was wondering, like, hmm. What made Calais Campbell choose Miami? First, initially, my first thought was, all right, well, he going there to chill. It is a nice team. They, they set up nice. They got a lot of nice little pieces on there. Quarterback situation is, because uh, two are not bad, but I don't think two is great. But, I mean, Trevor Lawrence, he just got paid, what, 55 mil a year? So, two are probably going to get a bunch of money as well. I mean, some of these, they, these teams are giving out money to their quarterbacks. But I don't know if everybody's deserving of it. But it ain't my money, so I can't really speak. But anyway, um, Dolphins, they set up in a nice little situation. 
And Tom Pelissero, he made it even clear why Calais Campbell may have joined the Dolphins. First, he says some new additions to the Dolphins defense this season. Jordan Brooks, who I did not realize that they signed. Jordan Poyer, who I forgot that they signed. Shaq Barrett, who I did not recall them signing. Uh, Jonathan Harris, uh, ne Neville Gallimore. Kendall Fuller, cornerback. Anthony Walker Jr., Chop Robinson, who they drafted, and now they got Calais Campbell. But it's like the Dolphins were already a nice squad. They already had a nice team because they still got a Jalen Ramsey. You you still got Javon Holland. Uh, you got, uh, hopefully he'll be back nice and healthy. Jalen Phillips, who is nice. Bradley Chubb, hopefully he can be healthy uh, early on. In the no, he got hurt late in the season, so I, I'm not sure what the status of his injury is right now. But... Dolphins got some nice pieces over there, man. They 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 set up pretty nice. And then on offense, Tua has Raheem Mostert, a chain. He got the best receiver in the game, in my opinion, Tyreek Hill. They just signed Jalen Waddle to a new contract. They added Odell Beckham Jr. So Dolphins got a nice roster. So Calais Campbell, he gets to be around all of that. But this was a very great reason that he could have signed there as well. And this can make the transition very easy for Calais Campbell. Reason number three, another notable connection. New Miami, D.C., Anthony Weaver coached Calais Campbell for two seasons in Baltimore. Now they're reunited in Miami. So that makes it make all the sense in the world. He already has an understanding of Calais Campbell. Calais Campbell already got an understanding of him. They can work well together. They already have worked well together. But now with Anthony Weaver getting a better uh, a promotion, a, a better opportunity, uh, going from just a defensive line coach to an actual defensive coordinator, it's only up from here for Anthony Weaver, like straight up. I know a lot of people thought that he could take over for Mike McDonald then eventually become a head coach for the Baltimore Ravens but he got a, a better opportunity with the Miami Dolphins so now he really gets to show his stuff because he got Calais Campbell added to a, a plethora of pieces on defense that he gets to work with.